Okay. Um, my second issue, uh, Commissioner, is one that is really concerning in London as yet again. Just stop oil activists. This week, and only today in the press, we're talking about how police, and I quote the Times, are powerless to stop the new stop oil protests that are basically grinding London to a halt. And I understand no arrests were made. Is that correct? I don't know, where, I don't know what you're referring to in terms of London grinding to a halt. We had um, yesterday a group of eight people who were sometimes walking on the road, sometimes walking on the pavement, who caused almost no delays or serious disruption whatsoever. I, frankly, what I've seen is that Just Stop Oil have got um, much less assertive in their recent protests, frankly, as a consequence of a large number of their leaders being remanded in custody as a result of our operations. So I don't, I don't fully recognise what you say, and I think some of the public debate has been influenced by it's easy to take a photo of a few people stood in a carriageway, which by definition of a photo is for a fraction of a second, and create a story about London gridlock, which isn't always true. No, I, I take that point, but what we clearly don't want in the run-up to Christmas is this kind of view that some in the media are putting across that the country is basically grinding to a halt. And when Stop Oil basically say that they are going to continually walk slow in the street and cause chaos, and, I quote, vandalise priceless art in our galleries, you know, clearly we need a message from you that we will not accept this kind of appalling criminal behaviour and you've got a plan to tackle it. So can I ask you, have you got a plan? I appreciate yesterday may have been a small incident and I want to give these people additional publicity, but clearly there are lots of concerns being raised with me and many others about that it could raise its ugly head again. I'm absolutely determined that anything that goes beyond sort of lawful, reasonable protest by create, creating serious disruption to London, by creating damage to property, um, will be dealt with robustly. That's why we've used the more serious offences, such as um, the statutory offence of public nuisance, which has led to, um, we, we put, I think, best part of 60 offenders before the courts at one stage for that offence, and 21, I think, was the number remanded in custody. Um, one of them has decided to plead guilty yesterday and got, I think, six month sentence. The rest are, many of the rest of the trials are set for 2024, which isn't desperately helpful, but that's just a symptom of the current um, delays in the criminal justice system. But we are um, absolutely serious about being as robust as possible. If someone causes serious criminal damage to, um, uh, uh, to, uh, to anything, that's a serious offence. I'll leave it there. Thank you, Chair.